Hello and welcome Hello. to Karen's birthday edition. And, and, <laughs> Fine line and look, we have two, two of them. I have like 200 cards here and I already opened some. I've been opening on the last couple of Thursdays. So I've been opening, I, I spent an hour opening cards today. He goes through, he slices them open and then, and then puts them and upright. I don't so, them or anything, so. Um, so they're easy to look at. So I just thought that since this is my birthday week and we had a delightful trip, thanks to all of thanks to all of you who wished me a happy birthday. <laughs> uh, and I said I'm just continuing taking the week off. You know, it's just kind of fun to uh, just have time to catch up on a few things around. So I'm just going to enjoy my cards. Sound good? Sounds real good. <laughs> so anyway, um, our weather is chilly, uh, and. It's going to be warm, in fact, kind of humid over the weekend, but today's still pretty chilly. So not my outside weather I'm waiting for, but that's okay, because I have lots to do in here. Uh, and I just found, of course, you know, it's amazing the things you find when, you know, when you stop looking. So this is the host code, and I just found my notes. Uh, some more people had put in sentences than I had written down. Sometimes I find things when it's way too late to use. So I just have to tell you that. So. We're going to do a few more. And of course, this is just if you place an order through my store, that's under $150 before tax and shipping. If it's more than that, don't use a host code. You get the benefits. And regardless of what you do this month, you know, you're getting a fun mystery box. I'm sending out a bunch of those. Those are really fun to put together. That's my gift for this week, this month, which is almost over. It is. And just it a few is. days left, too, for that amazing starter kit deal. So just think about that, too, all the freebies. But OK, we're going to do a couple of these. We have from Rachel Sparks, the very exciting catalog we get walk through six. I'm going to take that like walk through six times. We can do at least that throughout the thing. Isn't that, that's just a perfect sentence. That is perfect. And then we have Kathy Brown. Today's very extra card will go wild six <laughs> percent i love it that's perfect too <laughs> these are great and oh deb Robke. oh i can't believe we had so many of these um deb Robke. tv x-rays can wiggle good ways six <laughs> noel pemberton tim we got your name in here all tim, right like yes this. tim viewed x factor cards <laughs> oh i love that while gargling with six <laughs> love that <laughs> And Sue Ann Scheidler, Tim viewed x-rays carefully while, while getting well six. Oh, Ooh. perfect. Oh, oh, those are, those are awesome. Almost time. <laughs> so that is so fun. Uh, and I, I just had to mention when we were up North, we did Tim's tunes and trivia night. And that was so fun. And I it just was. loved getting, getting comments from you. Several of you talked about, it. it was just kind of a fun trip down memory lane you know, like um, Sandy Zun said that it brought back memories of her and her husband in their courtship years. And I thought, yeah, it was really a trip down memory, memory lane. And uh, um, Vicki Scheiber said her hubby even joined in for the trivia part. <laughs> um, I think there's, um, I love the stories that we share and how we talk about how many of us were influenced by our grandparents and our parents music you talk about that the music you grow up and then we pass that on i had a really great comment from someone and i wrote i put it somewhere but i couldn't find it so i don't know your name i'm really sorry but she said she's 37 and she grew up listening to jim croce with her dad because her dad loved that and now she's sharing that with her seven-year-old son and he just loves it and i thought that's kind of that bond mm -hmm. of music through all generations so that was just really really fun to do um, like somebody said, these songs are still playing in our head. That's all true. We like memory lanes. And um, Rebecca Sadowski had mentioned about the picture I posted about my Norwegian dish that I had, that we Norwegians love our white sauces. And I had to laugh about that because you've probably heard my story. But I'm going to say it once again, when our kids were young and we were homeschooling one year, we took a different country each month and we cooked a lot of food from that country. I found these kids cookbooks. So, you know, they were, so they were kind of biased towards easy recipes, but after our late on in the Norwegian month, our son, who was like 10, said, you know, mom, I think I'm really getting tired of white food. <laughs> I think of that all the time because of the, the fish and the potatoes and the white sauces and the rumagrat and all that. <laughs> but, anyway, but how precious are those, are the memories that we all make together in our lives. So anyway, thanks, guys. Um, going back to courtship songs, mm -hmm. what was ours? 
He's putting me on the spot and I don't remember. See, Tim lives with his music way more than I do. What was it? What should I have gotten right and didn't? <laughs> Gentle on our mind mm -hmm. by John Hartford. Oh, that's a good one. And the line, we fit together. What fit together it? walking. Yeah. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. Oh, fit together walking. And he always said that was just a, that line, just kind of about how our lives fit together, our dreams, our ideals. We fit together walking, mm -hmm. walking and talking. I don't know if we really did because I've got these really, really long legs and Tim has really short legs. People used to laugh up their mind just because we were the same height. Um, but I had 30 inch inseams. He wore 30 30s and I wore, because we were both skinny in the day. I wore 30 34s men pants. So I was, <laughs> but anyway, um, but that line is, you know, that's the thing I think about music. It's just in poetry and, you know, all those things. It's those lines that stay with you that, mean something way beyond what it's even saying. So that's just really fun. It is. It was. So we can't tell you how much we appreciate you guys make us feel so special. This is so fun. And um, I look at all these cards again after, which is really fun. So, so how are we oh, Katie lives in Little Norway, Petersburg, Alaska. They just had Ooh. their festival celebrating. Oh, yeah. Set in a Mai. Oh, I remember that. I went to a Lutheran college my first two years and that was a big deal. So that is very, very fun. And so, the North Shore is filled with Norwegian heritage. Yeah. And yeah, it looks so very like fun. it looks like Norway. It really does. So, oh, I had you have to say the memo. Oh, the the stamps that were giving away last month. This actually is going to a familiar name. This is Rebecca Sadowski, and I just mentioned her. Rebecca, if you're on here, you have to tell me if you you might have the stamp set, but you get another, it never matters. But I always, I've known Rebecca for many years. So how fun is that? And I did this. I just, I love this bird. So we're putting that. And because we're doing birthday cards today. Nickname? nickname Becky, Becky Lynn. Lynn. Becky. And today, because I'm doing birthday cards, we're going to do a fun little birthday stamp set giveaway. How cute is this? Just when you need a quick little card, Magnolia Blooms. So that, and people say we have to be entered. Just get involved. You can comment, share, anything. It's just, we need to see your name. So. <laughs> Karen, that's all. <laughs> not not everything that we get are cards. Oh, should we start with the gift? We're going to. Okay. Yes, I okay. opened a gift that Karen has not seen. Okay. But I'm I'm excited for her to look at. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is from Jean Rust, who's here in Minnesota. And Jean is someone I've known for many years either, but we're reconnected later because we homeschooled her, together. Her so our kids. Jeannie. It, it, yeah. Is, um, but. We reconnected years later and she found I was doing stamping and somehow we connected. Now we're connected again. So isn't that fun in life? So anyway, so, this she is your... sent this gift. So this is this is a gift. A birthday present. <laughs> oh, too funny. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do you guys remember when I said when I joined back in 1996, you didn't get a choice. It was uh, way more expensive than $99. And you got this button bear and I said that I should have kept that because it was my original stamp, but I never did. She sent me one. <laughs> Talk about trips down memory lane. I think that is really it. That is hilarious. Thank you, Jeannie. <laughs> and she said, yeah, she said, really? She gave this to me for you, Tim, because oh, you're liking your bears. You're, you know, we talked about Tim has a, oh, that is just, <laughs> that, that is perfect. We love our stories. On our trips, and there's a card in it. Yep. <laughs> <We're ready for laughs> oh, that is too funny. And open the card, and oh, what it? Oh, no, I got to put down now. <laughs> yeah, I have to be able to, okay, we're gonna come down here. Oh, look at this gorgeous card. Look how beautiful that is with the leaves right around there, and all the all the flowers. That is just gorgeous. Oh, that is. Thank you so much. And I will read them afterwards. That is. Oh, that is so fun. <laughs> now, we're going to see if we can go move along quite quickly. That, you know, isn't it fun? I'm not a huge gift giver, but I love gifts like when there's a story. And I always think things like that are just so fun. So if I'm ever shopping and I see something so that makes on, me. Oh, this is from, you know, I had my All Good Cards class last weekend, and I really have not cleaned the table. <laughs> Tonight, I have my um, downline get together. So I have a lot of stuff I do with them, too, because we have a fun little gathering every month too and we do lots of fun sharing so i have to share that so anyway um i i think it's time to clean i think it is 
Oh, look at this cute card. And if I wouldn't have pointed it out, nobody would have noticed. It. Oh, that is so cute. Uh, and look again how simple this is. Look at our three, just those three little strips right there. You know, I often say, here's another version of a strip card. Strip cards you could do in anything. Anything that has strips can be so fun. But I love that. That is very nice. A great layout. I just love talking about layouts and all the different things we can do. This is Amy Donaldson from Florida, and it is a slimline card. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, how fun. So look at the this fits in here. Oh, that is just really cute. And you could put anything you want in here, but I wanted to also point Doesn't out. Doesn't it go like this or not? I don't know. How about a portrait and then the name? Well, that's just, I was, I was just like, thinking we should put out like from the North Shore. Put, no, oh, President no, Lincoln no. and then his name. I'm thinking we could make a little memory thing. Yeah, and I'm good. Put a little, oh, that's really a fun layout. I love that. Uh, I really, agree. really cute. Then we have Dorothy Perry from Michigan. Oh, look how fun this is. Oh, how cute is this? Oh, and how very fun. And, oh, and it goes on opening. Oh, do you remember when we did these trifolds? How fun is that? Isn't that cool? It, it just is. folds up like this. And you can do, here, she's got her fun little additions here. To you. Love it. Love it. Great card. Ah, great card. And Elizabeth Elliott from Arizona. And a note we'll set aside. So we're going to look at some. Oh, she's got a bunch of cards here. Oh, how fun is this? So we'll just jump right in here. Oh, how fun is this? Okay, so here we have a die cut. Oh, and look how she's popped this on the inside. Mm -hmm. So that's die cut. And then we have the colors. So part of the colors just pop out. And then we have a cut up flower and we have the, the corners all punched. Oh, <laughs> and that's fun. You know, this is really a fun idea when you just look at different die cuts that you have that could just make a, a perfect thing for your writing on the inside. That's really cool. And Elizabeth is an EE. -E. Like a TT. She, so yeah. Tim always notices that in names. And you see how this literary. is folded and then folded back again. Sometimes we cut off a card. Sometimes we leave it open as a Z fold. And here's another option. You can close it up and then just have it be like that. So very fun. Oh, Nancy Moncombe from Minnesota. And notice her envelope. We just love it when we do the extra envelopes. She always does oversized cards. So she's known for that. Upside down. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, that's, I love that. And look, do you see that's the same paper she's put through? Mm -hmm. So this is pretty busy paper. It's um like the tulips. And then it's through a folder. So look at all the little variations and colors. That's gorgeous. And then a bird, that bird reminds me of the one in the stamp set I just gave away. Beautiful. Oh, and another bird in there. But it really changes its yeah, appearance. Yeah, you, you wouldn't when see, you, yes. When you put it through a... Yeah, when you run yeah. something through the dye machine. Yeah. So that's really awesome. Sally Thalman from Florida. Oh, and this. Oh, my goodness, did I forget? Extra packaging. I guess that was Going to pull it out That yet. was my job. <laughs> and it really slows down. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. Oh, and she even sent an envelope for it. How cool is that? That's beautiful. Love those daisies. And just look at the pretty layout. This is just a beautiful stamp set, too, from the Hello Friend stamp set. That is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Love it. And watch for something. If you missed out on the stamp set, I have some card kits that are coming up Candy, really soon. I'll be announcing. Oh, yes. Yes, we don't want things to get separated. It's a little easy. Susan Peterson from Wisconsin. Happy birthday. Oh, is that adorable paper? Oh, and you guys, look at this. Another, I love the trifold idea. And look how simple they are. Look how pretty that is. I love that. Make a wish. And Oh, is that ever fun paper? And that's just layered on the big card. Really, really sweet. And it's a left-handed card. Isn't it? No. Yeah, because right-handed people would open it that way. This is a left-handed. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. Did I'm you not do sure. That? Yes. Or yes. You, did you were busy. Yes, I was busy. You were busy keeping track. Yes, Being I my am. assistant and keeping track yes. of so that the notebooks <laughs> wouldn't get lost. <laughs> Never mind. I love it. <laughs> Jennifer Becker from North Carolina. 
Ooh, that that pretty bird that we're just looking at, that this paper is from that same set. And look how pretty this is. I look at, and this is just a lot of times if I do a strip like this, I always talk about if we have our two inch strips left over. These birds? I tend to put them on this side. And look how cool it is that she put it on this side. And it just makes a little bit of difference in a card. It just yeah. showed three birds. So. Or, yeah, but right there. See, yeah. that comes. It's kind of connected with the same thing. But now, just don't want to mess you up here. I know. I'm trying to go quickly. Just <laughs> My voice will give out. And I can't do this for days in a row. What an amazing, wonderful problem to have. Anita Urban from Ohio. This is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this certainly fits our vintage theme, doesn't it? Of. I'm talking about all the old music and stuff. Look at that. Cupcakes. Oh, I love this stamp. <laughs> that, oh, and the, the dress and the aprons. We've had some good apron stories. That is absolutely charming. Did you ever wear, <laughs> wear skirts to school? Yes, back in the day. I know we all did. You had to. And now things are so casual. It's just amazing. That is, okay. As you get older, three things happen. The first is your memory goes, I can't remember the other two. <laughs> <laughs> that's great and you know you can always take things like that write them down type them on the computer and use them when you want fairy godmother bobby from rhode island Ooh, a quilt type card and this is actually it's the paper but we also do that with punches i love that isn't that pretty it's like one of those quilts i can never remember the names of quilts i used to i used to know them much better but that is really lovely so fun little quilt card here you pulled two things out at the same time yep yeah, i did oh that's that's oh funny. oh this is oh they're different people luann yes. in ohio okay oh this is <laughs> oh is this a fun idea this is you know where you do one paper and then another paper in half what i'm noticing that i love about this these stripes go straight down and these stripes go angled mm. so it almost looks like a wall and a floor yes doesn't it yeah. i love that look I love how they're put together like that. Cathedral window quilt. Thank you, Renice. Oh, and uh, Nancy and a bunch of you. That's so fun. That is an awesome idea. That is awesome. Dorothy Perry, another one from her. Oh, and I love this. This is so pretty. And this is with that, uh, the, the three names, Boot, Scoot, and Boogie, but the stack Cut and shuffle, or we have all kinds of other other names. You guys had some really good good names. There was a triple S one that I loved. Stamp, slice, and shuffle, maybe. Uh, stamp, slice, and switch. Look at all the things we can do. But mm -hmm. look at how cool that is. I love that layout with three pieces and the little added flower. That's beautiful. Judy Bloom from Minnesota. Oh, how pretty is this? And look at red and black and yellow. Make a great combination. But that's just really fun. So we've got the three flowers and then just a fun, bright color. Love it. And happy birthday. Love it. And then we have um, Lil Friedak from Nevada. Oh, that's so, that is so cute. Do you remember when we did, Ooh. we did these? I don't know if you remember, Tim, but we sliced on the side of a thing. And then... Um, I can't remember what it's called, but you kind of do this lace background. You can also just, just see how that's folded there. You made one because I remember the fine motor we were laughing about. But then she's taken that. It's oh, not yeah. on the edge. It's right in the middle. And it's like overflowing. Ooh. It's like a little lattice work. I think it's a lattice card. I, so we called it. I remember that. Yeah. Do you remember that? But look yeah. how she's got the little lattice things in it. Kind of like oh. little planters. That is really cute. And where do the, the leaves come from? Is that? It, it, no, but it would be, it looks like a little punch yeah, or a little die. Wonderful. Those are just really, really cute. Slip, slash, and slide. I like that one, Elaine. That one works. Okay. <laughs> Some of you are saying you've got Tim's card ready. We're going to do this in June, too, for Tim, because we're, we're back to back, which is pretty um, cool. You guys just sent me a million of them for getting well. I know. And he said he's getting double cards. Rosemary Orloff from Florida. Oh, I love this, too. So look how pretty this is. Oh, and this is that new paper. Now, you know, a lot of times I'll show a card. We'll have one paper up here and another paper down here. Notice how she's used solid paper, but she's added a stamp to it. So she's created her own 
kind of slightly patterned paper. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And I love how she did the words, how she has two of these and one is just down from the other to accent. So if you're trying to show two colors, but you're, they're the same size, I think that's just a really cool way how you just slide one down. Ginger said she has Tim's ready. It isn't a chicken, but it belongs on the farm. <laughs> Uh, we love the thought that goes into this. this. is hilarious. Tanya Berkman from Indiana. Isn't this fun? Oh, and look how soft this is. Now this is, oh, and here's another stamp in there. This is that marbled paper from, that was from Celebration. And notice mm. how she's taken the stamp mm. and kind of done it in the same color. So it kind of blends right in. It's a very mm. soft, muted look and add a little color. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love the green. Yes, and that little accent of green, a little yeah. pink. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, the, we love Happy Mail too. This is really wonderful. Wanda Ball from Minnesota. Oh, birthday time, the otter. Love, love, love the otter. You are utterly awesome. <laughs> that is perfect. Uh, and it, look how it makes just quick cards. And all she did was colored in a couple of the dots up there. <laughs> so very fun. I'm keeping Tim busy here. I don't think I could do this by myself. No, you just throw them in a pile. Madeline Glover from New York. Ooh, I love this. And we've got that uh, slip slide and slush, whatever <laughs> cardigan. But look at one, one two, two, and three. three. And this is paper. Oh, I, lo I love Blast from the Past. But look at this is all so perfect. All the crafting things in there. Isn't that cool? Hmm. And then her words there. Oh, it's a great card. Yeah, we are back home, honey. We got home last night. So we're back home. And I'm just continuing. So, um, Going to thoroughly enjoy the weekend just staying home and getting caught up on things. That's just so, isn't it fun? It, I, I think you know you're old when you just kind of love a chance to stay home on the holidays. <laughs> Skip the traffic on the road. Okay. Devana, Devana Cox from Kentucky. It's upside down. Oh, my friend. I was going to say, can you tell? But my friend. <laughs> oh, how cute. And what an adorable layout. That's really fun. Look at how her paper is tucked in there. So she's got this part as the turnover. Oh, I love that. And the words up there, that is gorgeous. She thought the bug was dive. No, I, dive dive bomb. Bomb. no I wasn't paying any attention. It's a good thing you're on oh. top of things, Tim. I love that layout. That's just another really fun one. Our mailing address I put on the top of everywhere. So I'll put it up there again, if anyone's wondering. So um, Mary Fogarty from Florida. Oh, adorable. Okay. So this is the full size comes right here. Oh, <laughs> sealed with love and adhesive spit free. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, did you guess already? It's a bridge card. So it's going to stand up like that. Huh. And oops, and look, <laughs> how adorable that is with a heart. Is that cute? And what a great idea for Valentine's is, you know, as we're thinking ahead about things, is that just adorable? Love it. Great card. Great card. Yeah, I love to go, but then I love to be home. And I think one of the fun things about going is coming back home again. <laughs> and we, and I also, I love short getaways too. I, I think we both realized that. I said, we just, um, you know, two days is just absolutely perfect. Bob, Bobby Hudson from Rhode Island. Oh, we have a couple from Rhode Island today. How cool is that? Oh, and Tim. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's for my mom. Oh, I was just, you, I got to go through and look a few more of these. And of course, we'll be heading out there right after yep. this. Oh, that is so sweet. I love this. And I love the butterfly up there. That yep. is awesome. Set that aside for her. Yep. That's beautiful. Love how the words are across here. And we have the accent up there. Susan Corsello from Illinois. Oh, and here is the stamp set we helped do. How, how cool is that? And it's all good. Fun memories. And we've got the cards. Oh, I love it. I love it. Love it. <laughs> that is wonderful. Love it. And that is a fun nostalgia card too. So I said, that is so great. Pat Nagy from Missouri. Oh, this is stunning. This is that new stamp set. Is it? I don't remember what the name of it is, but it goes with this lovely linen paper. It's all part of a collection. But look how stunning mm -hmm. that is. And I loved, you can see how she has stamped this several times and then fussy cut part of it and popped it up. I awesome, like Pat. It. Love it. And great technique and how fun. Oh, and look at that. Wishing <laughs> you and then the little. And it's like bullet points. Open it yeah, again. Yeah. It's bullet yes, points. Yeah, it is. Isn't that cool? 
yeah. like wishing you sunny days, family love, unlimited mugs of herbal tea. <laughs> <laughs> I she love has it. those. <laughs> I love it. And uh, look at her amazing handwriting. Okay, that is <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Lonnie Rhodes from Florida. Ooh, okay. Florida is where we're planning to go next for the month of February. So hopefully we'll see a bunch of you there. But are these adorable? These are not stamping up either, but how cute are these? Look at this. Oh, and there's my my place, Tim. Yes. Uh, next to you your... can have the surfboard. Yeah, right. <laughs> what, what do they call it in the Philippines? What kind of? A nipa hut. A nipa hut, yes. Mm, love that. That is a stunning card. That is beautiful. And she did the inside too. That is just gorgeous. <laughs> and then Tammy Gibbons in Washington. Oh, this is gorgeous too. Oh, this is so fun. And I just love looking at all these Ooh. ideas. And you see how she has just popped out the center yep. of this? and then layer that on a, another. Yep. So this kind of technique is, is one of many spotlighting techniques because it's spotlighting the flower she wants you to see. Sometimes I tend to just like cut out a flower and popped up. I absolutely love yep. what she did. That's nice. That With is awesome. Ribbon underneath it. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. And nice. the words down there. Nice. But you just really do notice that. So that's gorgeous. Kimberly Fry from Michigan. Oh, and my one of my very favorite card layouts, and it is so fun to see all the papers being used, where you see both sides of the card. You open it, and you mm. see both sides. Mm -hmm. I just love this card layout, and it is one of the quickest, easiest cards you can ever make. I think it was, I don't know, three or four weeks ago that we were making cards yep. like this, and what gorgeous paper. I remember that. Those are like um, tulips, very springish, wonderful. Wonderful. Pauline Wilde from Washington. Oh, and one of my favorite papers that's now retired, Expressions in Ink. It's what we did our, our uh, card kits with last month. Gorgeous. And look how simple again this is. Taking your paper, letting it do the work, adding your words, and adding some cool layers. And she's got one that's been through embossing. But that's gorgeous. Beautiful. And I love the little strips. I know when I'm showing cards, I always say, save these little strips, put it on the inside of the cards. Do you see how it just finishes things off? I just think that that is so cool. Let's, let's put a wager out. Will we even finish half of these? <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know how we're doing like on time. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm moving right along here. I said, but this is, I'm having fun. Chris Stargard from, from uh, Wisconsin. Oh, is this a cool idea? Look at this. Oh, and she's got flowers in here. Look at this is monochromatic. Except that little touch of black on, um, on the butterfly. But look at that. So we have the field of flowers there. Isn't that cool? Yep. And then adding and that dramatic little touch of black is just perfect. That is so fun. And then we have Rebecca from Green Bay. Uh, Rebecca, I don't have a last name for you, but this is absolutely adorable. Look at that sheep. And watch her a card kit coming up with these sheep too. I just love these sheep. Dancing on the fence, you know? <laughs> that's even takes more work than dancing on the tabletops, Tim, like and I usually and... do, you know? <laughs> and look at the, look at the bling. It's, all, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's also a, a sign of being undecided, being on the fence. Being on the fence, there <laughs> you which I think it's more of a which direction do I want to fall off on? <laughs> Two, four, six, Carol seven, Benning eight. from Illinois. Oh, and another. Okay, you can notice this. Nine see, things to bling. See the two sides. Oh, and she did hers. Oh, and this is cool too. It's done the very same way. And she's just showing both of the same sides on the inside. That is such an awesome Ooh. layout. And that's gorgeous paper too. I love that paper. It's more of an accent, so it mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, like it is. Are, are it accents. is. It's gorgeous. It is beautiful. Joy Cinco from Michigan. And here we have the, uh, is that Blessings of Home? Whatever. So notice how it looks like she has a sponge job or just lightly sponged the colors there. So we have some greens and blues and the, the pretty lace in there. Beautiful. What a fun idea. You got so many to cover. Are you checking comments? Oh, people I'm just hearing things? a lot of love that. So I said, good thing Tim is there so we can see the cards right side up. Yeah, yes. that's a good one, Ginger. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> so we might just have to find another time to continue this, but uh, we'll see what, how we can go. Rhonda 
from Wisconsin. Ha uh, Heiser. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Mm. And this is just the punch. You know, we have this tulip punch and there are tulip stamps to go with it. But that's the Look at how swirly. This is just yeah. paper alone. Isn't that gorgeous? What a fun idea. Uh, sometimes it's fun to just see how simple things can be made and you can make quick cards and just, um, you know, because, you know, it doesn't need to have the stamp even. So it stands alone. I just love that. Then we have Deborah Rodkey from Iowa. Oh, and this is pretty. And another just totally simple idea. Look at this is just a plain card. And this looks like this could be washi tape. If you're someone who has washi tape, this would work for washi tape. And otherwise, just it's another strip card. It's just little strips. And I love mm -hmm. how they're torn on the edges. Mm -hmm. It really just gives that very soft look. She couldn't find her scissors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I love that. It's an awesome look. Sandy Sextor from Nebraska. Oh, we're seeing a whole bunch of these cards. Is this fun? Do you see the two? And you see the two? And she's used a punch as the accent. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Very fun. Okay, so I'm trying to move as quick as I can here. Tammy Shull from Tennessee. Oh, um, okay, watch this. This is an oversized card, and you know, it's often worth doing that. And look how fun that mm. is. Very nice. Isn't that cool? Oh, that is so fun. And it folds up like that. I like that. Have we done something like that? I have done that. Sometimes I forget if I've done things as part of All Good Cars Club or if we've done them on a Thursday Live. So I always like to know. It's hard to remember. I love how we, it feels like um, it really is one. Yes. It's just, this is just sitting on the side. I love yes. it. Yes. Yes. So oh, that is an awesome card. Love it. And then we have Jane Reed from Australia. Oh, my goodness. Am I honored when I get something from so far away? Because, you know, that took some time and effort. Look at this happy birthday. Oh, and I love what she did here. Okay, this is so fun. I often will do a card and cut off part of the edge. Look what she's done. This is like the front, or I've done a card like this, and this part flips up. Look what she's done. This part stands alone, and this is just wrapped through it. So a whole nother take on that same idea. Isn't it fun to think of all the varieties we can do with just kind of like um, these different looks? How fun. Oh, well, we'll make a card like that. That's Jane, gorgeous. Jane, it looks like a hinge, you know, if you had a... Yeah, it does. If you had a... a we'll call it a hinge card. Door. We'll call it a hinge card. Okay, and we have from Beth Merkel in Ohio. Oh, love it. Look at this adorable tag. Look, look, with a, look at the stamp. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Look at that. Okay. Uh, Luann, the stamp's for you. We say no, stamps. No, no, for, no, no, oh, oh, this oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have a friend that takes all that stamps. Okay. I guess Tim's going to, he doesn't have enough things that he collects. So he'll start doing that too. You know, like the bears. So like that, we got the bears. <laughs> but anyway, how cool is this? So gorgeous tag is the accent. And then we've got the two papers again. And that is just beautiful. Love it. And when you don't want to write a lot on the inside, oh my goodness, I love the stamp. Um, but look how that just covers a lot of space. Because sometimes people will say, I just hate facing inside of a card. And I love big words, partly for that reason. Kelly Jones from Ohio. Oh, oh, look at this. Floating by to wish you happy birthday. Oh, how fun is that? So look at this. It's a root beer float. So this connects like that. So her die has come through. So you fold your paper, put your die through just up to the corner. So it's another, like a flap card like that. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, I like that. I'd do a root beer float. That's a fabulous idea. Beautiful. Oh, I'm not getting hardly anywhere here. Ellie Spencer. Uh, from gorgeous from here. One of my helpers. And how gorgeous with the hues of happiness. Oh, my, one of my favorite new papers. I always want to say my favorite, but then I think, oh, but then there's this and then there's that. Look at how stunning that is. Beautiful, beautiful card. Love it. Love it. And Teresa Reed from Alabama. And another, another strip card. Oh, and she did the inside too. She did all of the insides. But another strip card in that we have a long strip and then a little strip and then the accent. So just in noticing that layout, isn't that cool? And then a little accent up there. Lovely idea. Bev Dahl from North Dakota. 
Okay, this is fun. Oh, look, and she did the inside where she's got the pattern paper and then the words over it. So that's really dressing up the inside. Mm. And this is, uh, this would be with paper. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell this now, but we have in the past that has white in the inside. So when you run it through an embossing folder, you see some of that, you can um, scratch off part. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. So you can see the it. words more. Hello there. That's beautiful. Hello. A lot of texture feeling. Watch this so weird. <laughs> Angela Miracle from Alaska. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a great one. <laughs> now, this uses that same pattern that we've talked about. See? Oh, it is. It was the very same thing because it's patterned paper there. She just does this large one. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh there went some of my stuff. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> I think that's a great card. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> LeVar Lashmet from Wisconsin. Oh, it's a gorgeous card. And another one where the paper does the work. So be another one like those slice, switch, and slide, whatever. And this one is in four pieces instead of three. And, you know, the real secret to any of these is they can go in any way you want them to. They could have, you know, 19 little pieces. That is gorgeous. And that is one picture. And it just kind of flows through there. And gorgeous colors. Love it. Hilda Peterson from Wisconsin. Oh, we're on a Wisconsin roll here. How cool. Oh, and she's got two here. How fun. And okay, so we've got the, the flower here and the fancy. Oh, 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 because one's from Gail. Oh, it's mother daughter. Okay, oh, Gail would be the larger one. Yes, yes. Okay, so I just have to find what fits. Okay, so we're back on Hilda. That's the one I was looking at. Yes, so I said that is so fun. How many of you have them have a their adults have a mother or an adult daughter that you stamp with? I just think that is so fun when people share that. I just absolutely love that. And just kind of fun to have that. But how pretty is that? And then with the scallop borders. And then from Gail, the library binding card. Oh, and she's got a large stamp in here too. How pretty is that? I love how she's done the four and then four accent pieces like that, turned sideways. That's really a cool idea. Okay, I know you guys are enjoying it, the comments that I'm seeing. I'm trying to do both. But, and, you know, screenshot the ideas that you like because it is always fun to get ideas. Vicki Simpson from Tennessee. Oh, we have a couple of things here. I, oh, I have to, maybe I'm not supposed to open this. I have to figure, I have to figure this one out. Otherwise, I give it to Tim. Right. Tim, you figure that well, one out. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. We've got the paper and then the circle. I don't know if I took up. Oh, it's a tea holder. Oh. I'm not sure. But I'm not sure if this is supposed to. I have to figure that out. Oh, and here's a brick. I'm th I think I think it's probably a tea holder, and we're gonna point that out. I'm just gonna, I'm mumbling. Could you tell that? I'm just trying to cover how oh, would you Ooh. look at this? <laughs> Mindful quest, and it's a Star Ooh, Wars Mandalorian. Right. I bet that is that is. Hilarious um, <laughs> to put those together. I love it. But really how cool. cute is that? Oh, that's very fun. So a cute little tea holder. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Mary Sykes from Tennessee. Ooh, another pretty card. Look how she has some popped up. So she's got the larger flowers flat, and then she's popped up the small ones. You just got some really pretty thing in there. <laughs> Ginger's laughing at the slice, switch, and slide because only one for real is the slice. It's stack, slice, and shuffle. Okay, see, that sounds much better. <laughs> Jean says her daughter started user blends. She's a teacher and finds, oh, isn't that fun? I love it when they come on to use your stuff. Yeah, and Kelly's saying she loves seeing how different all the cards like look, did, even did with the ones. How cool that is? That's just built, built around yes. that hole. But even people that use the yeah. same layouts, everything looks different. Yeah, not, and look at, and down. this is, <laughs> I know, <laughs> between us, but it's not cool, and it's just yeah. cool paper under there, so it's very fun. Oh, and look at this one. Oh, that's, that's a really over-the-top envelope. This is Rachel Britton from Texas. Oh, oh, cute. Remember when we were little, we always wanted to grow up. Oh, that is adorable. What were we thinking <laughs> I love it. That is that's a really good one. That's a very very good line. Hopscotch. <laughs> oh, I remember the hopscotch days. Oh, yeah. I remember that with my kids too. Maureen Preston from New York. Oh, and this is a fun. Uh, 
Remember when we did these a while ago? It's an origami oh, yeah. box. Do you remember that? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? And then she's got the little strawberry yep. flower leaf there. That is beautiful. Love it. I can tell you right now, we're not going to get through these. Sally Frinstrom from New from Minnesota. Oh, this is stunning. Mm. That is gorgeous. Okay, there's one over the top. There are all these pieces, and this is the. Uh, oh, I love that. Look how that? pretty that is. What was on that? Oh, I do think there's a. Oh, there was. Oh, <laughs> happy birthday! Oh, the finishing touch. The, this card will be repaired by Tim. Look at the cute little butterflies with it. That is stunning. I, I will. Absolutely stunning card. Yeah, Tim likes doing that kind of stuff. That is just right. Um, with this? Yes. Yeah. But but we'll wait. We're still trying to. Seriously? Kathy Ost from here. Oh, and another gorgeous, gorgeous, simple card. Look how that is just put through the embossing folder. And you can see through the paper underneath. And then you add the words. I love Simple, elegant cards. That mm. is beautiful. Beautiful card. Mm -hmm. Oh, the challenge this week. Um, oh, thank you for asking that, Rhonda. The challenge this week is um, May flowers. Just because, and I know it's going to be the end of May, but I've just been thinking about flowers are really slow to be um, blooming around here. And, you know, April showers bring May flowers, and we're kind of past due. So let's do floral cards. Anything to do with floral cards in the backport stampers. It ties right into this. Judy Lagro from Minnesota. Oh, how cute is this? And look at this one. This is just the pattern paper and an accent and the words. And look how pretty it is. So that is just a really, really fun idea. Love that. Judy, I'm distracted. So uh, yeah, it's, Tim is distracted. I should. He, he gets he's on a roll and he's Joan Beard from Florida. Oh, I love these. This is another set that just retired, but look how cute this is to put squares in three different places and then fill the others in with whatever you want. So she's got words and then two accents. Beautiful card. Oh, and more on the inside. That is beautiful. <laughs> Miranda says, oh, that'd be fun. I love flowers throughout the year. I'm just happy to have an excuse to make cards with flowers. Yes, I said, yeah. I, thought that I would fixed be fun. it. It's done and it's done. Oh, perfect. Oh, and this cute little card from Twyla Kate in Kansas. Oh, hello. Oh, I love that. Isn't that just cute? Oh, love that. Oh, that is cute. That is a, a darling a little, little card. A baby. Yes. Luba Bollocks from New York. Oh, I, oh, look at this. Another over-the-top card. Do you see how that? And see how those are just fold-outs from there? That is beautiful. Another one that you'll just put on the mantle. How beautiful is that? Gorgeous display card. That is just so fun. And here's where you put your message on the back. So when I put my feet up later and have my tea and read all the comments, that is just really nice and slow and fun and relaxing. Sue Platt from North Dakota. Oh, look how pretty that is. And this is, and I'm putting out a couple things here. So this is paper. Now I don't, I'm thinking her paper probably came this way, but did you know you can make this kind of thing with sponging? So anything you see that you want to learn how to do, I do take notes. Um, but also notice the edging around a paper. Mm. So it's like a darker ink edging. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fun? And, and then do it very by, by, flocking. By doing this. Well, I'd say with the sponge kind okay. of around, around a, the edge is how I do it, but you could mm -hmm. take a pen. There are a lot of different ways of doing it, but it's kind of cool. It makes a really fun accent that way. And then Nancy Harborough from Texas. Oh, happy day. Love that, love that, love that. How cool is that? And every time I hear the word text or the name text, I just, I'm so sad for oh, what's going on there. It's just unreal. I just, um, this is such like a fun spring card. Isn't that just fun? Love it. Oh, we saw a double rainbow recently. And I know a lot of people mm -hmm. were posting um, Hope Smith from Tennessee. Oh, this is beautiful too. Look how stunning this is. And do you see how she's got the little side strip on the inside? But here we, she's got the wreath and then this is done on mm. vellum. So it's embossed on vellum yeah. and then colored. So it. that's really pretty. And against that gorgeous paper, this is that same um, New Horizons paper, Tim. Mm -hmm. We just take part of that. And this time it isn't a scenery. It's like a lovely background for that. That is just really beautiful. 
It is. And we have Ginny Pender from California. Oh, I think this is still available. Am I right? I always have to remember that, but I think, but isn't this pretty? Love the ocean. And now this is, this is a frame. So the purple is on the inside of the frame. And then the, this is put over it. That's a really beautiful. Love it. Jonetta's wondering if I keep all my cards. Most of you know what I do with my cards. I, I keep sending cards along. It's just my belief that if one card can be an encouragement to five different people, I love that there's a story with it. Um, so I... I give a lot of them to our church. Kathy Ost was on here. I opened one of her cards. She and a group of women from our church, they, they'll take off anything personal and kind of redo them. We sell them at church for, to pay for. So um, Operation Christmas Child postage, because we send out hundreds of boxes and people love donating the things to put in them. Nobody wants to pay the postage. So is this a perfect, so people at church know to go to her to find cards. And I love that they just go on. Even my mom, when she gets her birthday card, she just loves feeling like she enjoys them and then they're going to go on and someone else is going to enjoy them. So anyway, that's, I, I love that. I love that about it. Becky Anderson from Tennessee. Oh yes. And look, so this has gone through the dots. It's been stamped first, then run through the embossing thing. So how cool is that? Mm -hmm. And a strip on the inside. So I just, I just get to enjoy them. And then we pass them along. Otherwise, I would have boxes, boxes. I wouldn't know what to do with. So, but I just love that. Diane Andrade from California. Ooh, I love this. And this is a new, this is one of the new sending smiles and the new tea paper. Mm. And I love how her paper is cut at an angle like that, a diagonal. I love so it, it just has a different look. That is just such a happy, bright happy, it. bright card. That is so cool. Oh, Rhonda says, yes, that's a, the card ministry at your church. She's doing that. Yes. Um, for a Lions Club. Yes. Anywhere where you like to donate. Um, and sometimes it can be redone instead just to give out to people at church. That's a whole nother kind of card ministry. Um, but I love just as they're going to go on and be used. Um, I, I love, you know, we have a very young church pastor and he's in his thirties and he always tells me he just is amazed at how many cards because he knows they've all come at some point through my house, you know, <laughs> and through all of these group of stampers and he just loves it. And I thought, it's just so fun when people notice that and they, you know, and the other thing that's fun about this is we get, there's such an amazing variety. You know, I just absolutely love it. This Barbara is stunning. Cooper from Missouri. Oh, that is stunning. Oh, which obviously means it go this way. Look at this big, gorgeous die that went with that paper. Oh, and then it bridges across these two. Hmm. That is a, just a stunning card. And perfect for just any occasion. That is so cool. Um, Amanda, Amanda Bach from Illinois. Ooh, another gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Uh, that's my job. Okay. Oh, the hues of happiness. Look at how pretty that is. There are dyes that go with this paper. So you die cut these out and look at her gorgeous arrangement there. Stunning card. Absolutely beautiful. So I do use things that are current, like this is just a current card. I do use them in my business, just to, so you know that too. I mean, that totally makes sense. Um, and then at some point, and I send out a lot of cards to my customers. And for, so anyway, I just make use of cards right and left. And I, I love it. I love being the conduit to keep them going. Maureen Massey from Missouri. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yes, happy, Ooh, happy. And that's that fun paper again. Notice here, I love this edging mm -hmm. this is one of those edgings scallops. isn't that just the scallops yes and just sets that off and then the accent is right there yeah there are no two alike so i think that is um that's what just makes them so fun to look at because i know when i quantity make cards and i love doing that too i'm always doing a quantity so i make a whole bunch of the same and i also love looking at that but it's so fun to look at a whole bunch of cards that are all different rosemary rands from north carolina and how gorgeous is that so look at the pretty dye and then the flowers popped up right on top. Very elegant, very lovely. It's a beautiful card. That is, that is gorgeous. Uh, Pauline Kretschmer from Wisconsin. I, said, I could just keep on looking at these. The library fold. And you will. There we go. Well, you I will. Whole, you have a whole other box <laughs> after that. that one. I love that. Look what it just does to your paper. You start with your paper and then just choose your colors from there. And then you go on from there. 
I'm determined to get through this box though, Tim. Oh, okay. I know. Sandy Hiltner from Minnesota. Oh, look how pretty this is. Another monochromatic card. Oh, and she's got that on the inside. How cool. Just see how it's more white on the outside and more dark. That's really fun. Uh, and this is just one stamp put on there. Mm -hmm. And look how gorgeous. Uh, this would be just a single layer card. Yep. I mean, and, you know, I don't count if the white goes under the white, but look how pretty that is. Very simple and elegant. And here's another one that's just very simple and wonderful. This is from, oh, Confetti, Confetti, <laughs> and it is Kim, Kim Dorsey, here from Minnesota. And oh, and look, <laughs> and, and look at this. Look how fun this is. She's got her square pattern paper and then another one just slipping out from under there. Isn't that a cool layout? I actually, when I go back and look at cards too, I love to look at layouts. So sometimes you wonder where I come out with layouts. I love taking layouts from real cards. Just telling you that more than anything. Ethel Wagner from Tennessee. Oh, is this a fun card? Look at this with the rainbow dye. Look at how bright and colorful. A little something to brighten your day. Love that. <laughs> that is beautiful. And look, she's added words into the cloud punch on the inside. That is pretty fun. Oh, I don't care where cards come from. Rosie was wondering. Um, as you notice, some of these are stamping up. Sometimes I point out that they're not because people are going to ask me, what page is that die on? Uh, it matters not. Cards are cards just are cards. Just a comment on mm -hmm. Kim's calligraphy. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Those of you that have beautiful handwriting, <laughs> it's just amazing. Susan Reed from New York. Oh, and notice how she's done her ribbon. So it's nice and flat when she mails it. It's just flipped over like that. I love this paper. This paper, this tulip paper is only available for... Oh, I'm <laughs> looking for how to open it. It's right in the middle. It is a gatefold um, that's done as a off-center, not like it doesn't meet in the middle. Love that. This paper is only available for through June. But look how she started with, she's got this long strip of paper, and then it's folded. Isn't that cool? Another great, great layout. That is um, Terry Fingerholtz from here. Also, oh, another gorgeous card. So when we were talking about the tulip punch, so here's mm. a stamp set that goes with it. So it's just the difference. And I just love that both are beautiful. But look how beautiful that is. And then she's got her strips going diagonally in the background, which just really makes a fun background too. That is gorgeous. Oh, and look at hers is a pop-up card. How cool is that? So it's going to pop up like that. Oh, Terry, thanks. That's a wonderful nice. card. It's beautiful. I'm sure Tom helped design that. <laughs> Marianne ends from Washington. Oh, and this is pretty too. Just, oh, look, and she's done a little on the inside. So notice she's got some white on white. White dyes on white cardstock are just really stunning. And then she's got her accent part right there. So isn't that cool? It is a very, very fun background. It's very cool. Love that. Um, I know some people always ask me where they can donate cards. So hopefully this will make you think of being creative because. Some people are better at making cards than sending them. <laughs> but whatever you love doing, I just love the thought of them, you know, just going on. But think of all the different ministries you could raise money for, all the different things you can use things for. Sharon Beanie's from North Carolina. And how cool is this? Look at this is a totally different design. How fun. And she's got more on the inside. But you see how these are squares and they're different levels. And then this is crisscrossed. And the stamp there. What a fun geometric kind of card. That is just really, really fun. Sweet wishes. Yes. Bonnie Olive from Idaho. I don't think we've had Idaho yet tonight. Oh, and look at this one. Here's another one of those triple S cards. <laughs> That's what I got to say since I can't think anymore. Yes, nursing homes are another great place um, to give cards. And if you know an older person, giving them a box of cards pre-addressed to family members you know, they can enjoy looking at the cards first and then they have something to send out. You have them stamped, ready for them to go. I mean, what a great thing. But what's different here, so I want you to notice, she put on the three papers and then ran them all through an embossing folder. Mm. So it gives that pretty quilted look mm -hmm. and then added her accents. So how cool is that? I like it. Christine Spahn from Ohio. Oh, this is fun. More great paper and look, oh, and she's got the inside, mm. but look how she's got all the parts. So she has got this oval with her words. And then again, she's building up her, mm -hmm. her flowers and 
her leaves right around the oval. Very nice. So since we're going to run out of time, what would people prefer? I could pick a time this weekend and do the other box. If we wait till next Thursday, I won't have another teaching time. So I'm thinking we should fit in one time yep. in here. Remember it doesn't matter to people. It's Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Do are, are people around if we do something this weekend? Because otherwise we could wait till next week. But I think we're going to have to set another time. From Ginger Favre, and I know you've been on here. Uh, oh, look at how pretty this edge from in New York. Yeah. Oh, from New York, yes. Look at how fun this is. Ooh. And she's got a little lacing going through. And, I, you know, sometimes when you cut out, if you fussy cut your paper and you they have edges, fussy cut the edges too. Look how pretty this is up against something. Now, she might have cut this off after it's on there, but I always like to point that out because sometimes we think, well, I can't use that one because it's not a full flower. But you think of places you can edge. Um, okay, we might do it like Saturday then. I'm thinking that might be a good idea. I'll put it up. Oh, yeah, but encourage more... More discussion. I would say Saturday at one. Is that what you're saying? No, oh. I don't know. Oh. Maybe, maybe one person. Oh, kind of Saturday. whatever. Um, we'll just pick a time because I don't know if our kids are. Well, I don't know if our kids are going to. Yeah. E e but, but we'll give plenty of notice. Um, but I think we're going to go for Saturday. And so we'll, sometime on Saturday. Okay. We'll take your feedback. Into yeah, I'll, we'll take your feedback. So we could do afternoon or evening. Um, but how fun is this? Look at this fun background. Who is this? Yeah. Kathleen Weber from Florida. Ooh, in the jar of flowers. How pretty is that? Oh, and she, it's like water. It's all shiny right there. She's from an island, oh. Marco Island. Yeah. That's, that's very, very pretty. Love that. And she's cornered down her, her inside there. And then we have Eileen Benetti from Michigan. Oh, cool card. Do you know, I looked at this and I thought it was a belly band first, you know, mm -hmm. but it's like a fake belly band. It's kind of like, <laughs> I love it. See how it opens? It's really, mm -hmm. um, a gateful card. This one meets in the middle. And look how cool. Oh, I love what she did on the inside, too. Isn't that fun? Put a gift card. Her little ads. Maybe. Oh. But looks like a gift card. So I said, it does. I said, that's interesting. Oh, but how cool is that? So it meets in the middle. And she's got the two strips here. And then another strip there. Very, very cool. And then Kathy Boggs from Washington. Ooh, another one of these. These are just stunning with the pansies. Uh, true Confessions. Whoa. I have the stamp set. I have... I'm not, I'm not that much of a putzer. I have never made these. So it's so fun to get some cards from you guys that are putzers. <laughs> Look that at all those cool. layers. Man. Oh, that is, again, just absolutely stunning. Then we've got the tag right I there. Think, That's a gorgeous card. I think what this is saying that you'd, you'd benefit from being a putzer. <laughs> I don't, I just, you know, oh my goodness. I, I'm always, I'm always thinking of my next class and my next Thursday. Is something that, so it is just a joy to get somebody that that is absolutely that gorgeous. Is very cool. Then we have Teresa Labiota, Michigan from Michigan. Tim, I think you should be the putzer. You've got more time than I do. Yeah, Can I give you some putts? Nothing like that. <laughs> oh, here is a good use of getting those little calendars. Look how she just put that on there. And so it's my that. birthday. So how cool is that? And I love it. She's got a little circle there too. That is cool. So if you had a little calendar, you can do um, 12. You could, you know, you use one each and you've got 12 birthdays covered. So I think that's really fun. <laughs> and that she is that too, but hasn't used it yet. It was high on her list. I know it just takes a day. You know, I tend to get most things because <laughs> Whatever I'm inspired to use, I want it there. And I know some of you are like me. It just depends on what the day feels. But usually I have a deadline I'm working on. And that's really why. I think I would enjoy putzing if I didn't have deadlines. How fun is this? Sue Scheidler from Indiana. Oh, the girl with the butterfly net and the butterflies. That's very, very cute. That's very fun. We've got the sky behind there. That's darling. Oh, and look, she punched out a little butterfly on the inside. So you see through to the back. And the last one we're going to do today. Second to the last. I got one more. Oh, you have one more? Is from Judy Magna from California. Oh, and look at this. How pretty is this? I love this. And notice again, this is the birds. They're not colored in. They're just black. Look how beautiful that is. Put on beautiful paper. Your card is done. La Magna. Love it. Oh, La Magna. Okay. I, I, I can't read either. So, oh, that's amazing if Tim is helping my reading. Tim has one more to share. One more to Tim Titus. Oh, from Adrian, Michigan. Okay. And 
Oh, that's why. He, okay, Tim can't get away with not having something be about him. Okay. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> so, hope you're feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. But I want you to. Stuart wrote the nicest letter to me, and I actually read it. I know, but I'm not going to read it because I don't have her permission to read it. Okay. But, that, okay. Ju but just but, know, but I, I want to say two things here. Word of big word of encouragement. And I, we do appreciate, we do read everything. We read them aloud. We talk about you guys. Um, we just really appreciate that you share your lives with us. And then one of the questions I wanted to answer, Marjorie wondered how we recycle cards when there's writing inside. That's why I give them to Kathy. I mentioned her name. So she goes through and she'll put like new backs on them. So sometimes it's a matter of cutting off the front. Sometimes it's whatever. It's because, you know, we don't, aren't going to pass them on with the personal things. Um, and sometimes if there's a personal thing inside that I want to keep, but I can give up the card, I can keep the message too. And occasionally I'll keep a card just because um, the message is just so personal. So, it, you know, there's yeah. just a difference in cards, but I love that anything. So it's kind of like recreating cards. Um, which like she says is also really fun. So those of you that do that, um, you have the fun of looking at all these cards too. So the people that are fixing them are also thoroughly enjoying them. And then they're just creating like new backs or something. I just think when you look at all the hands these go through and like, she'll say, it's so fun to sit down and do 20 cards and they're all different. Cause she'll be like me. She'll say, when she sits down to stamp, she'll make a bunch of the same. And it's just so fun when you're recreating these cards to get ready to sell, to totally enjoy them first. So isn't that fun? So they they honor your message. They don't they don't pass it yeah. on to somebody. Yeah. Else. So we wouldn't send anything that um that's personal. So however you send that, but just know we read everything and we totally um and conversations we've had with some of you. Just you guys are just a really, really special part of our lives. And we thank you so much for being in our community. So the only um, I, I'll I'll tell you there's only one exception and that's when it says you're awesome, Tim. You know, then then she'll leave it on there. <laughs> and they'll just find another Tim to give them to. Yeah. Uh, so, and I love all the comments that, that you guys are leaving too. So I love that. So we'll all be inspired. Just the importance of sending a card, letting somebody know that you're thinking about them, letting your creativity go on and bless other people along the way. I, I just think this whole level... Now, that being said, we still have in the corner of our living room, a gigantic basket with Tim's 375 get well cards. Oh, yes. so they aren't going anywhere yet. So, uh, but this is what we have left to do on For Saturday. Karen. So just, just to know. Birthday. Okay. <laughs> so we'll see you on Saturday. And, and thanks, you guys. And have a wonderful weekend. We love you all. We love you. Bye.